These are brass gold weights that were used to weigh gold dust, currency in the Akan region of Ghana and the Ivory Coast until British currency was imposed by colonial officials at the end of the 19th century. The BMA has 650 of these in its collection, and all except 25 of them will be displayed in the reinstallation of the African galleries, opening April 26, 2015. Those 25 will be excluded because they have swastikas on them. In the public memory, the swastika is inextricably linked to Nazi Germany, but this symbol is actually one of the oldest and most cross-cultural symbols that we still know today. Swastikas can be found on various art forms from the ancient Americas, Central Asia, the British Isles, across continental Europe, and parts of Africa. Historically, and even prehistorically, the meaning of the swastika is varied. However, many of the meanings are linked to the symbol's four points and the fact that it appears to be rotating. The four quarters of the moon, the four seasons, the four cardinal directions, the solar wheel, and stars rotating around the pole are among the many interpretations. Across cultures and continents, the swastika is a positive symbol of luck, fecundity, health, and life, completely devoid of the negative connotations that the Nazis brought to this symbol. In addition to the gold weights, the BMA has a number of objects in its African, Asian, and Native American collections that feature swastikas, including a vase, a Buddha figure, clothing, blankets, rugs, baskets, and one of my other favorites, this beaded tie from the Lakota, with its U.S. seal, red, white, and blue, and swastikas.